Hey guys, for those who are new to my channel, my name is Elena and I'm an expat living and working in Ukraine. This summer I visited one of the most beautiful and mysterious locations in Ukraine, the Zakarpattia region. Zakarpattia is located in western Ukraine and is stacked away between amazing beautiful pine forests and the Carpathian Mountains. Overall, I spent seven days in Sinevir, which is one of the main locations in Zakarpattia. And I film so much content in these days that I have to divide this episode into two parts. For the second part of our trip, we decided to change the scenery and got this number. This is in the hotel named Arnica. As you can see, this number is smaller but much more beautiful looking than the previous one uh, we have two bedside tables although the placement is rather odd and there's this corner when you can put your outer clothes and uh, shoes the mirror but otherwise it looks really nice with this macrame and the bathroom is much better than the one we had in um, uh, in birloga let me show you The bathroom much more modern. They have this shower, also much better than we had there. Uh, they also have very very nice towels. So it just looks more more modern, but it's a little bit tighter than the previous number. When we go outside of the number, there is uh, this really nice and atmospheric corridor and then you can go down the stairs to the reception area. There's another balcony here. And then we are outside on their property. Down there is the restaurant and they have multiple buildings, some of which are for living and the others are for entertainment. For example, this is the sauna. Then I have a pool room, a room for conferences. Their property is super beautiful. The air is very fresh here and there are a thousand of things that you could do. They even have a fish farm where you can fish and then eat the fish that you fished. Today we decided to explore another side of the Sinevir Park Reserve. This is in the opposite direction from where we came and there's only a guest house here, thus not too many tourists, not too many people. I've only seen locals so far and a couple of lonely tourists just like us who wanted to see this area. As a result, it's super peaceful, you can really get some time alone with nature here. But we are really looking to go to the guest house, enjoy probably a good meal and then visit one of the churches that is deep inside of the natural reserve. There's a spring with uh, water here near this crucifix and I didn't see it before I came here. So under the stairs is the spring coming down into the river and here there is a space where the spring comes up and there are some cups here for drinking. So if you go up the mountain, it's hot, it's the summer and you want to drink something, you can just take one, scoop it and drink it.
We're here at our final destination point, but bummer, the church is closed. I think it's pretty normal since it's a small village um, and not a lot of people here that the church is only open when there's some of sort of religious ritual or procession. That's usually in the evening and morning, I assume. Well, not much of a church goer here. One thing that I really like about all the buildings here in Zakarpatia is this very strange and nice pattern, almost like fish scales that I see on all of the buildings. And in this church it's white, but the houses are all colors of the rainbow, from blue to yellow to purple. It's really, really pretty. So let's just admire it from the outside. This is the whole place that we rented for the next two hours. It has everything and I think it's great if you come here with more friends. But since it's only me and Eugene, I think you're going to enjoy a lot of space. This is a place where they bring food. Also, you can make your own teas and they have a bag of the um, Zakarpatia tea that you can brew for yourself, a TV, some towels. Obviously, as any place where you would go in the water, there's a very nice toilet and also a shower here also a shower here take the shower before you go into the bath and this is um, a sauna banya but we haven't rented it thus you know it's not working for the moment they need to uh, steam it first and then to the main attraction This is a pool where you cool off after the sauna or after the chan. And this is... We got a small one with Carpathian plants and uh, flowers. And this is a bigger one if you come with a bigger party of people. But this one is cold, obviously. And this one is waiting for us. Obviously, the most comfortable and cost-effective way of getting to Sinevir is by your own car or by renting a car either from Lviv or Ivano-Frankivsk. But I understand that not everybody has this option, so if you don't have a car or can't rent a car like us, you can go by tour bus. I know it sounds a little bit crazy, but it's by far the most accessible, comfortable and cheap option that you have here in the mountains. You have to understand that in the mountains, the local transportation infrastructure is inexistent. All you can rely on are taxis and taxis here, by God, are super expensive. For 30 minutes on the road, they can charge you anywhere from 500 grivnas and up. That is very expensive. So what you can do is get in touch with a tour bus company, explain to them that after doing all the tour, you actually want to stay in Sinevirska Palana or maybe in some other location where you have your hotel. And then, you know, stay for the amount of days that you want and then go back the same way. Okay. 